Bedbug infestations have recently been making the news, but many of us know little about how they affect our cats. Animal Wise looks into whether bed bugs can infest cats, as well as the symptoms and treatment of bed bug related illness. Can bed bugs live in cats? These blood sucking parasites are usually found in mattresses, sofas, and other types of furniture, hence their name. The greatest period of activity occurs at night. They are capable of hiding during the day in cracks or mattresses, waiting to feed once the sun goes down. The main symptoms of bed bugs are itching, anxiety, stress, and insomnia. There are no known diseases transmitted by these parasites, but they can be a vector of pathologies such as Chagas disease and hepatitis B among people. In the case of pets, bed bugs and cats are a rare parasitic infection. They have a preference for humans and they can have trouble with animal coats. However, these parasites are known to have a great capacity for adaptation, so in some situations they can end up affecting cats, especially those with atopic dermatitis problems. If bed bugs are suspected, do not hesitate to contact your veterinarian. Contrary to popular belief, bed bugs are not capable of living in cats. Their behaviour is the same as in people. They only come out of their hiding place to feed, returning to it after biting the animal. Cats are not a common vector of bed bugs and are less likely to be infested than their human guardians. Symptoms of bed bug bites in cats Despite being a rare occurrence, bed bug bites in cats produce different symptoms such as intense itching, skin irritation, hair loss and serious secondary infections due to excessive scratching. If you observe these symptoms, it's most likely due to another parasite such as fleas. In these cases, we recommend you go to your veterinarian to resolve the problem as soon as possible. What happens if my cat has bed bugs? If a bed bug bite does occur, the symptoms are generally cutaneous since there is no evidence of diseases being transmitted by their bites. In extreme cases, bites can lead to a serious allergic reaction, putting our kitten's life at risk. This is why the control and monitoring by a veterinarian of these types of insects are so important. How to remove bed bugs in cats? The best way to stop bed bugs is to avoid them. These parasites hide in remote places, so it's unlikely they will be seen in a cat. If any bed bug in their adult, larval, or egg form are found in a cat, they can be brushed out of their coat easily. If the animal is using preventive deworming treatment, the moment the bed bugs contact their skin, they should die. How to avoid bed bugs in cats? To avoid bed bug infestation in cats, the process is similar to that for humans. However, administering the right deworming treatment is the first step since it will prevent infestations of parasites such as bed bugs, ticks, fleas, and mites. Learn about starting to deworm your cat with our video shared above on a kitten's first vet visit. Bed bugs are known for their great persistence and ability to adapt. Some insecticides used in the past no longer have any effect on them due to the development of resistance. If you or your pet are experiencing a bed bug infestation, the best way to eradicate them is with the following recommendations. Wash different household textiles such as blankets, pillows or sheets at more than 50 degrees Celsius or 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Use pesticides with proven effectiveness against bed bugs. Isolate the bed from the ground with Vaseline or water since bed bugs cannot pass through it. Freeze different household items for three days. Clean the home frequently. Use diatomaceous earth as an effective insecticide. Place traps against bed bugs, always verifying that they are not harmful to the cat. Be careful when staying in other places during a trip. Finally, we should hire a company specialized in pest eradication if the infestation persists. If you want to continue learning about cat care, don't miss the playlist we share here. We'll see you next time.